I'm not running for this, but what I am trying to do is to resolve this. Tony Little says he's been going back and forth with Jackson Water this week in the dispute over a gigantic water bill the company says he owes for Blossom Apartments, the South Jackson complex Little owns. He showed us the statement he got for the month of May, his delinquent bill, more than $470,000. Little says there's no way tenants there are using that much water. On one bill, it's the equivalent of a uh of what I guess flow would we use in a five day period. According to Little, it's like 2.6 million gallons of water, enough to fill four Olympic sized swimming pools. Little says Jackson Water told him there must be a big water leak somewhere at the complex. So what I've done is I've had three separate problems. One, I just paid $4,000 today to walk the whole property. We walked it all the way around. We don't see the leak. All I can do is pray because I don't really think that that's fair. I have a baby, he is one year old, and he needs water. We need water. Water is an essential thing for us to live. Shan Hayes says she was terrified when she saw these signs posted outside the management office Wednesday. The post alerted tenants the water could be shut off if that unpaid bill wasn't resolved. When I heard about what was going on, with, you know, the apartment complexes around Jason. Little admits he was a passive investor when he bought the complex six years ago. He says when the city of Jackson still ran the water system, the management company, which he fired this past January, told him don't worry about eye-popping water bills. Because, you know, hey, they're going to get it straight. And they always did. I got one water bill here that's 900 and some thousand dollars and it went away. Still, tenants like Hayes nervous about what could happen next. Maybe they're coming to cut our water off and now we have to suffer. And I don't think that that's fair. We'll work it out. We, uh, we will work it out. And I'm, I'm confident that we will work it out because uh, here, uh, obviously we don't want to displace uh, needy families. Reporting from Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>